Hey, hola a todos, it's Rocky here from SpeakSpanishFaster.com and in today's video, I wanted to try something new. We have something uh, pretty cool and I wanna do a little conversation uh, training or comprehension training, listening comprehension training. I had some comments from students, some, some from some of you guys and yes, I do read the comments. You guys will see, I usually try to comment back to as many as possible but I do take into account what you say so definitely be commenting because that helps me come up with um, content ideas that are relative to you that can actually help you. So, um, yeah, one of, uh, one of the main comments we were getting is, can you provide some sort of Spanish comprehension um, practice, which makes sense because I talk about uh, the importance of comprehensible input. So it only makes sense that I should be giving some form of comprehensible input. Now, my argument in the beginning was that there were so many ways out there to get comprehensible input that you don't really need me. YouTube has unlimited forms of Spanish that you can listen to and get your own comprehensible input. But some people just don't know where to find it, right? They don't know what channels to go to. They don't know where to search. So that's why I decided to, today we're, we're gonna test this. And if you guys enjoy it, we can continue to do stuff like this. Now, don't worry, I'm still gonna do my other types of lessons because people still do have grammar questions. They still do have um, questions about other things like tips. So I'm not gonna stop doing those types of videos, but I'm also gonna start mixing in some listening comprehension because I really think it's gonna help you a lot. Now, of course, we're gonna put our own spin on the listening comprehension. So in a second, um, I'm gonna have three different conversations. Now, I'm not promising every listening comprehension video is gonna follow this same uh, formula, the same strategy, because sometimes I might just maybe read a newspaper article, sometimes I might read a chapter in a book, but today I have three different conversations. Um, so you'll hear me and you'll hear my partner, they will be speaking. My partner is gonna be speaking in very proper Spanish. Um, I'm gonna be speaking in, I'm gonna talk my regular Spanish, which is more uh, colloquial, I guess you can say, uh, so that you can get a feel for both. And I'll still speak slow and clear, but I'll still use some of my accent, some of my regular Spanish accent, instead of trying to talk neutral, I'll use more of my regular accent, how I would talk, so that you can get a little bit of both worlds. So you'll get the perfect neutral Spanish, and then you'll get my Spanish, which is far from perfect. All right, so um, that's how it's gonna work. And also we're gonna mix in my hyperspeed training with it, okay? So if you don't know what hyperspeed training is, I have a video on it, but it's very simple. It's pretty much, you listen to the audio regular until you understand it. Once you understand it, then you speed it up because this is really gonna, it's hyperspeed. It hyperspeeds the, the listening and it really makes you focus in and listen to the fast speed. And then when you slow it back down to regular speed, it sounds like it's slow motion. Now. The thing is, when you do this over and over, you get used to being able to comprehend the fast hyper speed, the double the speed, or maybe not quite double because double might be just difficult to comprehend anything. But when you can understand things at a faster level, when things get to regular level, it becomes super easy. So when you're out there in the streets or when you're out there in public and you hear people speaking Spanish, and they're speaking fast, which, well, in the past it would have sounded fast to you. Now it's gonna sound kind of regular because you're used to training at that fast speed, okay? So it kind of reminds me, this quick analogy I'll, I'll give you before we get into the training. I know you're saying, man, just hurry up, get to the training. One, one analogy, one last analogy before we get to the training. Stephen Curry, who's like my favorite NBA player, uh, he has the fastest release in the NBA. He gets his shot off super quick. And they asked him, how does he do it? And he said he practices at faster the speed. So when the game, what everybody thinks is the fastest release, he said it actually feels slow because um, it's nowhere near the speed that he forces himself to get his shot off at in practice. So that just kind of shows you uh, how hyperspeed is used in other ways and how we are using it to learn and comprehend Spanish. So how this is going to work is you're going to hear the com your conversation one. You'll hear it one time, all right? Then you will hear it um, again at the fast speed. Now, 
If you're having trouble understanding anything from the first conversation, roll it back. Okay, roll it back. Matter of fact, you know what we'll do? We'll listen to three conversations first. Listen to each conversation at regular speed. Okay, now if there's any parts of either of these conversations that is too fast for you or you don't understand a word, pause the video or rewind the video. First time, listen through once. Listen through once without doing anything, just reading, okay? Now, if there are any words that you don't know, take the time to write those words down. All right, so the first time you watch, I will have the Spanish and I will have the English under it. So that way you can um, really understand, comprehend quickly, put the words, put each word together, know, know what's going on. When I go to the hyperspeed method, when I speed it up, I will remove the English. So you will just have the Spanish. So if you're still struggling to understand the entire reading or the entire conversation, then you might want to pause it, rewind, and keep going through the first time through until you understand everything. Second time through, I'm going to speed it up on my own, all right? So, and I'm going to remove the English. This is the hyperspeed part. The third time through, we're not going to have any, um, there's not going to be any English or Spanish text. It's just going to be the audio. So you really have to close your eyes and force yourself to listen. By not giving you anything to read, it'll make your ear, it'll make you focus more on the listening part. Because I feel like when we listen and we read, we're more focused on reading, it's good to do them both, but we also need to just close our eyes and focus on listening so we can build just our listening skills as well. All right, so that is going to be the protocol for today's version of the Spanish comprehension. And if you enjoy this, then let me know and I will continue to do more things like this. Again, sorry for the long intro, but I really wanted to uh, kind of introduce this and explain how things were going to go down. In the future, I won't have to do this long intro. We'll be able to just get straight into the content and I'll be able to spend more time on the listening comprehension part. Uh, but I wanted to um, take the time out to explain everything so you get it. Enough talking. Let's get straight into the first conversation. Bueno, día. Me gustaría unirme a este gimnasio. Por supuesto. ¿En qué clases estás interesado? ¿Qué clases hay? Tenemos clases de aeróbicos, yoga y pilates. Prefiero tomar clase de pilate. ¿Cuándo son? Las clases de pilates son los martes y jueves de 2 a 4 de la tarde. Eso es bueno. ¿Cuánto cuesta por mes? Cuesta 35 euros al mes, pero puede elegir la suscripción de tres meses que cuesta 90 euros. Perfecto, voy a tomarla de tres meses. Perfecto, con esa suscripción también obtienes una camiseta gratis. Gracias. Hola, reservamos una mesa para dos. ¿Nombre? Rodríguez. Por aquí, por favor. ¿No puede traer el menú, por favor? Claro, aquí está. ¿También tienes una carta de vinos? Un momento. Aquí está. ¿Están listos para pedir bebidas? Sí, una botella de agua para mí. Para mí, un vino tinto. Perfecto. ¿Y para comer? Me gustaría una paella, por favor. Para mí, un gazpacho. Gracias. Estará listo pronto. ¿Quieres que preparemos el desayuno juntos? Sí, mamá. Voy. ¿Qué quieres comer? Me gustaría un sándwich de jamón y queso y un jugo de naranja. Te prepararé el sándwich y tú puedes hacer el jugo de naranja. Claro. ¿Cuánta naranja necesito? Dos estarán bien. El jugo está listo. ¿Quieres un poco? No, gracias. Aquí está tu sándwich. Gracias, mamá. Buenos días. Me gustaría unirme a este gimnasio. Por supuesto. ¿En qué clases estás interesado? ¿Qué clases hay? Tenemos clases de aeróbicos, yoga y pilates. Prefiero tomar clase de pilates. ¿Cuándo son? Las clases de pilates son los martes y jueves de 2 a 4 de la tarde. Eso es bueno. ¿Cuánto cuesta por mes? Cuesta 35 euros al mes, pero puede elegir la suscripción de tres meses que cuesta 90 euros. Perfecto, voy a tomarla de tres meses. Perfecto, con esa suscripción también obtienes una camiseta gratis. Gracias. Hola, reservamos una mesa para dos. ¿Nombre? Rodríguez. Por aquí, por favor. ¿No puede traer el menú, por favor? Claro, aquí está. ¿También tienes una carta de vinos? Un momento, aquí está. 
¿Están listos para pedir bebidas? Sí, una botella de agua para mí. Para mí, un vino tinto. Perfecto. ¿Y para comer? Me gustaría una paella, por favor. Para mí, un gazpacho. Gracias. Estará listo pronto. ¿Quieres que preparemos el desayuno juntos? Sí, mamá. Voy. ¿Qué quieres comer? Me gustaría un sándwich de jamón y queso y un jugo de naranja. Te prepararé el sándwich y tú puedes hacer el jugo de naranja. Claro. ¿Cuánta naranja necesito? Dos estarán bien. El jugo está listo. ¿Quieres un poco? No, gracias. Aquí está tu sándwich. Gracias, mamá. Buenos días. Me gustaría unirme a este gimnasio. Por supuesto. ¿En qué clases estás interesado? ¿Qué clases hay? Tenemos clases de aeróbicos, yoga y pilates. Prefiero tomar clase de pilates. ¿Cuándo son? Las clases de pilates son los martes y jueves de 2 a 4 de la tarde. Eso es bueno. ¿Cuánto cuesta por mes? Cuesta 35 euros al mes, pero puede elegir la suscripción de tres meses que cuesta 90 euros. Perfecto. Voy a tomarla de tres meses. Perfecto. Con esa suscripción también obtienes una camiseta gratis. Gracias. Hola. Reservamos una mesa para dos. ¿Nombre? Rodríguez. Por aquí, por favor. ¿No puede traer el menú, por favor? Claro, aquí está. ¿También tienes una carta de vinos? Un momento. Aquí está. ¿Están listos para pedir bebidas? Sí, una botella de agua para mí. Para mí, un vino tinto. Perfecto. ¿Y para comer? Me gustaría una paella, por favor. Para mí, un gazpacho. Gracias. Estará listo pronto. ¿Quieres que preparemos el desayuno juntos? Sí, mamá. Voy. ¿Qué quieres comer? Me gustaría un sándwich de jamón y queso y un jugo de naranja. Te prepararé el sándwich y tú puedes hacer el jugo de naranja. Claro. ¿Cuánta naranja necesito? Dos estarán bien. El jugo está listo. ¿Quieres un poco? No, gracias. Aquí está tu sándwich. Gracias, mamá. I hope you enjoyed today's video and the exercise, and if you're really looking to take your Spanish to the next level, definitely check out our three free secrets. Um, it's on our website. I'll put that link in the comments for you. Click that link where I reveal our three biggest secrets to becoming fluent in Spanish so that you could comprehend native speakers um, whenever you're around them, all right? Now, if you enjoyed the video, If you enjoyed this segment, do me a big favor, hit the thumbs up. That'll let me know that you enjoyed it. Comment below. Let me know any thoughts, comments, feedback. Anything is welcome. Um, this is a new segment here on our channel, so I want to make sure that you like it, and I want to make sure that it's helpful to you. Okay, last but not least, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel, Speak Spanish Faster. Turn on notifications so you never miss another video so that you make sure you get your Spanish practice in this week. Until next time, I'll see you then.